Hi, I'm Jessica Patterson of Spinning Shadows Fiber Arts, and welcome back. Yesterday, I used my new combs um, to blend some roving for spinning thread. And today, I'm going to show you spinning that thread. I broke, I did three pieces, three pieces of um, of roving off the combs, and I uh, broke them up so that they were smaller and put them on my little handheld paddle distaff that I made and painted and strapped them on with a, a, a band here that you can see and I pinned that band with a um, this is actually a corsage pin um, it's one of those big pretty pins you can get from fabric stores as you see um, that way I don't have to tie the band if I don't have enough length so anyway um, that's how it's strapped on and uh, I'm holding it sort of in the crook of my hand here and where it is most comfortable and I'm using my two fingers to hold it in place and that keeps these three free for drafting and I'm using for spinning this fiber my bull sheep fibery um, this is their Christmas economy spindle I'll leave a link in the description below these are really fun fast spinning spindles for that are great for doing finer yarn uh, threads actually so this is one of my favorites to spin with as far as drop spindles go that and my Galen designs one anyway let's get started first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook myself some fiber I almost never use leaders anymore um, I did use um, leader yarns a lot when I was starting out but I found it's um, easier to just use the fiber itself to create a leader and uh, I tended to drop the spindle more often with a leader because the twist would go out of the leader into the into the fiber and things would just get loose and, and drop but you can see already I made a decent length of fine thread just spinning the leader this merino and nylon is they're very long fibers so um, this is going to make for a very nice spin so let's see see i'm just holding with my hand i'm actually not even holding the distip except with the crook of my fingers or the crook of my hand crook of my thumb anyway We'll figure out the right term here in a minute. And I'm using my left hand to both spin, wind on, and draft. Um, my right is just holding fibers in place. Um, if you've never tried distaff spinning before, I really recommend it, especially if you're trying to do waist spinning or thread with a drop spindle. It really makes life easier. Um, but I get the spindle started and actually untwist the yarn, the thread a little bit so that I can draft and just pull it away and let the twist travel up to a to an extent to the fibers um, that are on the distal edge here and uh, yeah it's just producing a very fine consistent bright pink yarn thread. I keep wanting to say yarn. Um, I'm too used to that. But this is actually thread right now. So there we go. And you can already see that this is producing just something fun. I don't know if you can see that on the spindle there. Um, up against my finger, this is a embroidery thread weight here which is what this is going to be for my mom or if I feel really enthusiastic in trying something I'll try a little embroidery but um, this is the perfect weight for a single of a thread and then if she wants to make it thicker she can double it up um, let's see if I can like so or double or triple or whatever to make it a thicker thread for her um, for her embroidery projects. But I can tell this is going to be um, very smooth 
Uh, that's one of the things about using combed fiber as opposed to carded is it creates a very smooth and usually very strong uh, thread um, which for embroidery you want smooth smoothness so that it doesn't um, peel up as you're pulling the thread through the fabric um, it'll hold together better for more of that uh, rough use sort of rough use and it'll look nice and slick and finished in the final uh, embroidery project. So this is definitely turning out how I, how I wanted it, how I envisioned this when I first saw this um, fiber in the kit. This was the February uh, Napa Valley Fiber Kit. The theme is Sakura. If you haven't watched it already, I definitely recommend you go watch the unboxing and the spinning of the main braid because they're absolutely beautiful. I did finish a skein of yarn of the main braid and uh, it turned out really poofy and fun. So I can't wait to show you guys that in the future. And hopefully I'll do another skein and actually show applying it. <laughs> but anyway thank you for joining me for the beginning of spinning this embroidery thread in this pink this is really fun and uh, I can't wait to finish this this act I'm not gonna apply it I'm just gonna leave it as a single and I'm gonna skein turn it into a skein to measure it for fun and wash it to finish it so it doesn't come untwisted while uh, my mom's using it and that'll be that I'll when she can she'll uh, put it on one of her little embroidery cards and it'll be ready to use so anyway thank you for joining me stay tuned for more videos hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already ding the bell icon so you receive notifications of when we upload new videos which we do as often as we can and leave a comment letting me know what you think what do you think of this hot pink embroidery thread? If you do embroidery, is it something that you would use? Um, if not, what would you use this kind of thread for? I'd love to hear, and if you have any questions, please ask. I love to answer them. As always, have a great day.